Hey guys, it's Nangani, and a big reason I love video games is that they can be so many things. Some video games serve completely different purposes than other video games. For example, you have video games that are competitively based, and they're great to play with friends, and then you have other video games that take you through a compelling story experience. Video games today are just so broad, you really can't just compare video games side by side because they are just so different. With that being said, I'm ranking all my Switch games. With this ranking, I'm looking at factors such as the price compared for the value I got out of them, what I expected or what I hoped with what we got, and obviously the enjoyment and experience that I got out of them. So as you guys possibly know, I'm a video game expert, so all of my opinions are factually correct and I'm never wrong. Anyway, let's just get into it, let's start from worst and then we will work our way up to the very best. I only have one game in D tier, and that game is Super Mario Party. I was debating if this game really deserves D tier, but then every time I think about Super Mario Party, I just get mad. It's just not that fun. When I play Mario Party, I expect fun, fast paced, and chaotic, and this game? Nah, it's, it's just boring. Uninspired. There are only four boards and I don't like them, items are lame, the pacing is just slow and whack, and why is a star 10 coins now they have less value than a Pop Funko? I was reading the differences between this Mario Party compared to the previous ones, and there was a lot of gibberish, so I just simplified it to say, it's worse. The minigames are fun though. So I know a lot of people like this game, and it's fun, but not all $60 fun personally. Pokemon Tournament DX is so cool. You can whoop other Pokemon with real-time combat, Tekken style, and I kinda wish Pokemon games were actually like this because I have a dumb monkey brain who likes cool combat and fun yet tactical abilities rather than But I know that's unrealistic to hope for. Also, this game looks better than any Pokemon game ever, like even the new one, but I'll talk about that later. Anyway, fun game, but it gets boring. All right, still C tier, and I wish it wasn't. Arms, or are you kidding right now, because this game is actually really cool, but it lacks content. Look, I love the vibe, the music bangs, the Splatoon style hidden lore is dope, but it gets boring pretty quickly. The arms fighting is essentially rock, paper, scissors, or punch, grab, shield, and the campaign is repetitive, but even playing with friends gets repetitive. Love the concept, I love the art, and I love the style. I hope the sequel can bring a lot more, because arms is dope. Starting off from the bottom of B tier, Brahalla, not much to say on this game, it's on my Switch though, mainly because it's free to play, and it's definitely fun, if you want a Smash style Flash game, this is definitely that. Death Road to Canada is another indie game I have on my Switch, and it is fun, especially with friends. It's a fully randomized RPG with a lot of hacking and slashing zombies. I think it's a fun game, I just didn't play it very much. Katamari Damacy Reroll is a game I bought literally because of the music. Also, I like the weirdness of it. And it's literally an upscaled version of the PS2 2004 version of this game. It's really fun to roll everything onto one massive, huge ball to eventually take over the world, but nothing really new. Still fun, and I do really like the series. Fortnite I have on my Switch. I don't feel like talking about it. Everyone knows what it is next. Here comes my inner way because the Ace Attorney trilogy is really good. I still have to beat this game, or games, but I do enjoy the gameplay. I like the characters, and it's a really fun series for me. All the art looks redone, and it's pretty nice, but I do miss the OG pixel art. But overall, it's my type of weeb game, and I like it. Okay, one more weeb game, Naruto Storm 3. I love Naruto, and the story mode for this game is amazing. The fights are so goddamn good, and the characters are really fun to play with. This game is honestly a really great Naruto anime fighting game, but it also came out seven years ago. Alright, now here we are, A tier now, top of the league here, best of their game. Tetris 99. Okay, I just did not know where to place this game. Okay, it's Tetris. Like, how do you rate Tetris in comparison to Fortnite? Like, how the goddamn heck? This is probably one of the most fun Tetris games I've played in a long time, though. It's fast-paced, the music slaps, and it's free. The holy trinity for a Tetris game. Dead Cells is a game I suck at. I made a video on Dead Cells over a year ago, and I still haven't gotten around to beating it. But with that being said, this game is amazing. The art, the gameplay, it's, it's all great. If you like roguelike castlevania inspired action platformer allowing you to explore a sprawling ever-changing castle assuming you're able then you'll like this game link's awakening it's cute i like it still have to beat it though god this tier list is exposing how terrible i am at beating video games from everything i've played so far it's been a really good time with the good old toon toy link i said toon goddammit, and the top down og zelda combat i do like the toy aesthetic so no real complaints from me i like this game Next up, I still wish I could've placed this game a bit higher, but Luigi's Mansion 3 executes so many things so well. The gameplay in this game is the best in any Luigi's Mansion game ever. The animations are literally cinematic movie level, but there were times where I just wanted to get on with the game. It got boring at certain parts, and the original still creates the best atmosphere of spooky but toony vibe for me. This one, it's, it's just toony. Still, an amazing game, and I still love Luigi's Mansion. Then we got... 
Splatoon 2 is really good. A lot of content to play, fun gameplay, super cool world, and the over stylization I'm a sucker for. The Octo expansion is my favorite part of the game, although it's DLC, but let's not talk about that. It's awesome, it's cool, the main story, it, it's alright. But most people play the game for the online because it's like the main point of the game. But yeah, fun game, I just don't play it very consistently. Mario Kart 8. It's Mario Kart. Alright, I lied. I have one more weave game, and it's Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I also did a video a while back on this game, and after beating it, yeah, this game's kind of everywhere at times. Very weeb, cool story, love the world, and this game looks just downright beautiful at times. But then this game has its upgrading system, which I still only pretend I understand. This game is a beautiful mess, but I love it. Next up... Doom. It's really, really good. I'm impressed just how well the Switch version doesn't suck. Yeah, obviously it still looks poo-poo next to PlayStation or anything, but the fact that they got it running so well on a system that is tinier than my patience for Super Mario Party? It's awesome. Doom is just so chaotic and fun being able to pick up and play whenever I want to is really nice. It's fast paced, it's chaotic, and it's cool. It's Doom. Animal Crossing New Horizons, the game that took over my Twitter timeline for months and it still hasn't recovered. The damage is done. I now exclusively see KK Slider as album covers in my timeline. But Animal Crossing New Horizons is fun and I love everything about it. I recently made a video about New Horizons, so if you want to hear my full thoughts on the game, then you can just watch that video. Alright, for real this time, Super Mario Odyssey is hype. I still like Sunshine more because I'm biased and no one can stop me, but Super Mario Odyssey is ultimately the better game. By far. There's not too much for me to say here. If you want to hear someone talk about Super Mario Odyssey for an hour, Haydox made a great video about it, but this has without a doubt been one of the best Mario games in a long time. It's back to its open world style that I very much missed, and every song is a banger, I close my case. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the best fighting game. Ultimate brings all the characters with still more on the way, the gameplay is the best it's ever been, and there is so much content, it is ridiculous. I still miss subspace and I don't like the new story mode, but that's really the only negative with this game. Ultimate is amazing. Ah, we're finally about to be in S tier, but before that, I have a few games on my Switch that I did not rank just because I haven't played enough of them yet, but I still wanted to mention them. Hollow Knight. I'm only like an hour into this game, but it's fantastic so far. I've heard great things about it, but I didn't want to rank it because I am just not far enough in this game yet. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Not gonna lie, I really do like this Fire Emblem game. Surprise, it's super anime and the gameplay is actually really cool. I'm usually not crazy about turn-based RPGs, but this one, it's really fun. I like the story and the variety of characters so far. Pokemon Shield. I played 10 minutes of this game, dude. I don't know. I wanna like this game. I wanna play through an entirety of a Pokemon game, but it's just boring. I personally don't have a childhood connection with Pokemon, and I was kinda hoping Game Freak did something really big since the series is on its first core console Pokemon game. But, oh well, it's just not my type of game. Okay, now it's actually S tier time. First up, and we got numbers now since there's only a few left. Number four, Undertale. I got into Undertale super late. My first time playing it was actually on the Switch, but Undertale is amazing. It has such a unique story and an amazingly interesting cast of characters. I was super into it the whole way through. I only beat it once, and I know for the true experience you have to beat it like 20 times or whatever, but eh. Without a doubt, one of my favorite indie games. Also, the music slaps. Number three, we got Minecraft. It's Minecraft, dude. My childhood upbringing is like 80% Minecraft. I'm never gonna forget all the amazing experiences I've had with this game. I'm probably being a bit unfair since I'm kind of rating Minecraft just as Minecraft and my experience, including Java, but whatever. Number two, Celeste. I just recently beat Celeste, and this game is so goddamn good. The gameplay is so ridiculously fun and challenging and rewarding, and the story is pretty simple, but it creates such heartfelt emotions that really connected with me. Celeste is visually gorgeous, the music is some of my favorites in video games ever, and it's one of my favorite video game experiences. And number one is still Breath of the Wild. I mean, it's Breath of the Wild, dude. I don't know. I, I just love it. I put so much time into this game. It is forever going to be one of my favorite Zelda games. It has been so much fun exploring this insanely huge world. It's such a creative twist on the Zelda series, and it's just one of my favorite video games of all time. All right, so that was my tier list. Was it good? Probably not. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and do all the cool stuff, whatever. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. You can join the Discord server or follow me on Twitter if you want to see bad tweets. Anyway, I'll see you guys.